Welcome back, everybody. Tim here from the Tactical Defender. Are you a fan of Through Night? I am. I, I mean, I, you know, this is actually even all of them. I am a fan of Through Night. Fantastic. They're definitely in my top five, no doubt about it. Probably actually number two of my top five. They're a fantastic brand. Not expensive. Really, in my opinion, really high quality lights. Uh, I don't recall ever having an issue with the Through Night ever. Today, we're going to look at that. Oh, I think I just crushed my box. We're going to look at that. That is the Catapult Mini Great Super Thrower. Really small. Look at the size of that. Really small. You're looking at roughly $45 to $49 for just a $50 or under light. I will have links in the box below as I always do. Go down there. Check them out. Uh, this is what we're looking at today from Through Night. The Catapult Mini. All right, as I was saying, this is the Through Night Catapult Mini. Great light. I actually have the larger version. I don't think I've reviewed that, but I actually do have it. This is the box, as you can tell. I mean, I really actually like their packaging. To me, it kind of reminds me of Apple. You know, Apple, the computer company, Apple. Uh, very plain. It just does it well, right? It's a box. It doesn't have to be all wrote on and fancy and, and pictures. And I really actually like their uh, their packaging. So this is the box. Almost looks like, a, yeah, anyway. Uh, it does come with a couple of things, obviously, directions. It comes with that. Here's your, my father used to actually call them destructions. Here's the destructions. You have a lanyard which I never, ever use. I'm curious, do you use lanyards? If you do, let me know down below if you would. And uh, and a couple O-rings in there. Thank you very much, Through Night. And you do have a USB-C cable. I really like that because I use, like I'm using right now, my cell phone to record this video. I use um, a Samsung Note 20. I think, yeah, and uh, it's USB-C. I have a lot of USB-C. Now, I find often that when I get a light that uh, takes a USB-C, come on, open up, open up, open up, for me, um, very often I don't use their cables. Hello. All right, well, you don't have to worry about water getting in there because this thing is on there. There we go. USB-C, really nice and clean. Now, often, I cannot get my USB-C cable to use because I like, as I said, I really, really like using uh, anchor cables, and I have a ton of them. I usually don't use their cable that they provide. I use my anchor cables. And quite often, not always, but often, I can't use my anchor. It won't go in the hole. And, you know, we, we're not happy when it doesn't go in the hole. These do. Through night, I don't know what they're doing, how they, you know, they really, really know what they're doing. Oops, all right. And uh, it fits. It charges really beautifully. Let's look at the light quickly. So we have, it does not, it's not magnetized. And it also is not a rear uh, switch actuator. It's only a front or a side actuator. You do have some gnarling on the handle. Very flush button. I like that. Well, I mean, the part of that is, depending on if you're wearing gloves or something a lot of times, and I got big, fat, meaty hands anyway, sometimes I can't find the button, right? But if it's opposite of the, the pocket clip, this does not have a pocket clip. Or if it's the opposite of the charging port, then I just know. I feel that on the bottom of my fingers, and there I am. Does have a lanyard hole. Again, does have a lanyard. I do not use them. Some cutting. So what they do is this will reduce uh, heat buildup as well as weight of the light. Bring it around over here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Through Night Catapult Mini. Great light. Now, it does have... Now, oddly enough, in their uh, listing, it says it has a defensive bezel. Yeah, I, 
I don't know. Maybe it's me. I would not call that a defensive bezel. Uh, I don't have anything on me or nearby right now. Does this have it in? No, that doesn't have a defensive bezel. Anyway, I wanted to show you what a defensive bezel looks like. Um, I don't rec I don't call that a defensive bezel. But you know what? That's okay with me. It is kind of rounded. A thing I like about this, it does tail stand. That is actually a big deal with me. I like, especially my super throws, my large lights. I like to put them on, tail stand, and I can let up a room, right? Bounce it off the ceiling, and it works really well. You can look down, and there is a smooth reflector. Got a little something going on I have not seen before when it comes to flashlights in the middle, which helps because as you can tell, it's not a super deep or long reflector. So they're doing something there to kind of shine it. And you will see, I've been using this. In the end of this video, don't go anywhere. I will show you what this looks like at night. It goes far. And it doesn't have a very big throw. This is pretty much a light up something small from far, far, far away. This will do it. If you need something to flood a whole area, this is not the flashlight for you. I'm sorry. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got for a battery. Their own battery is 1100 mAh. This is the 18, can you see that? Where is it? 18350. Nice battery. I like to do this. I like to kind of look down inside. I want to see if they're nice and clean. Look at that. That is that is really nice. I know I do that a lot. I've looked inside flash. I have a lot of flashlights. I've looked inside flashlights and it looks terrible in it. Look at that. That is beautiful. And here. Look at that. Nice, neat. Not solder everywhere, wires sticking out. And yes, I have seen that, and it uh, doesn't look good. Am I putting in this correctly? We'll see. O-ring vid to keep water out. It is IPX8. And good, I did put it in there correctly. I hate when that happens. So you just, it is really, I mean, this is not one light that it just goes on. You don't really have to give it much of a press, right? While it's charging, it will be red. When you got a full charge, can you see that there? Blue, you know you got a nice charge. So it is also, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, light mode memory. So whatever you have it on when you shut it off, when you turn it back on, it's on that. And I know I've said it 129 times, I think, in 129 times. I very, very rarely use my lights on low, medium, occasionally high, always turbo. This has, uh, I think, six modes. It has Firefly, low, medium, high, turbo, and strobe. We are off right now, right? Hold it down, long hold, and there's your Firefly. Hold it again, and it goes through your modes, right? Most lights today are like that. Shut it off. Double, fast double click. There's your turbo. Off three. And there is your strobe. Again, have you ever used your strobe in a self-defense situation? Ever? I can't say I have. Ever. I'm happy it has it. But I can't say I've ever needed it. Which I, I suppose that's a good thing, right? So, look, I mean, look how small that is. That thing is so small. In my hand, I have big hands, and this is a thrower. Again, it's not going to light up my whole yard. I'm going to show you some photos. I'm going to go outside. Don't go in Not photos, video. Don't go anywhere. Uh, again, a long, long, long throw, but it's a very small circle. Not a lot of flood. It's not good if you need to light up a whole area. I know I've already said that. And um, there it is. Right there. <laughs> don't go in, everybody. Great light links in the box below. I want you to watch the video so you can really kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Now, remember, on video, for me, it will be brighter and you'll see more for me. But for you on video, it never really shows um, the full the full capabilities, right? You're not going to see the light that I see, but you'll get a good idea. All right. I thank you so much for watching this video. Be well. Stay safe. I'll be back soon. Let's go over here. Hopefully I won't get hit by a car. As you can see, there's like a lot of traffic out where I am. 
<laughs> Look at that. That really nice. That that goes down there really far. I apologize if the camera isn't focusing very well because there's really not a lot to light up out here. Let's uh, let's go down the road. Let's go look down the road that way. Let's get over here. What can we see over here? You know, I was kind of hoping we'd see some eyes out there, but there's nothing. We're looking at easily 100 yards, those trees right there. You really can't see it in the picture. I'm sorry in the video, but I can see out there really well. Again, not a lot of flood, but you're going to have throw. Ready? Watch this. I'm going to shut the light off. Ready? Let's shut the light off. No joke, this is what you see. Literally nothing. I don't know if that's maybe the space station up there. I'm not too sure, but anyway, light back on. See? <laughs> it is dark. <laughs> oh, found a skunk. Got a skunk right there. As long as he stays there, we are good. Where's that light pole? There it is. Easily 200 yards away. I could see it. I don't see any eyes looking up at me at all. It is a quiet night out here tonight. Ah, a lot of bugs, too. Ah, I love coming out here in the dark. I really do. I'm armed, <laughs> as always. Here is my car. Ready? So we're approaching my car. Light off. Ready? <gasps> I can't find the car. No. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that would be terrifying. Imagine turning the light on and there's Sasquatch standing there looking at you. Oh, I thought I was hoping we'd see something tonight. Nice warm night. I hear coyotes, but I thought maybe we'd see something, but unfortunately we don't. See the tops of these trees really well out there. So I'm going to, I, I don't believe uh, a thrower, a super thrower would be, there's a sign out there. You can see how far away that, that's really far. I don't believe a super throw would be like the one life for all situations, right? It's just something that you need to go really far distance. It's not something I would need, I'd want if I just need to light up like an area, like, you know, 50, 20, 30 feet, 100 feet in front of me. Um, this not, wouldn't be the way to go. Want to have lunch, everybody? A little dinner? Up on the hill behind my house. An old, uh, I don't want to say plantation, but old, uh, I forget his name. I'm so sorry. Hey, you know what? Let's go over. <clears throat> oh, the bugs are killing me. So we have the Mount Jefferson Conservation Area dated uh, May 8, 2002. So the Gates Homestead, the hilltop, Horatio Gates was born and brought up on the old homestead. He was a great thinker, invented things when quite young. E the economic machine that put labels on bottles. There were three floors, nine rooms. My father had a hundred head of cattle, 300 pigs. Yeah. Oh, ah, I just got bit by something. Son of a... Anyway, all right. The, oh, I just stepped in a hole. <laughs> I'm not even watching where I'm going. The catapult mini from through night. Some old farm equipment there. Thanks for watching, everybody.
be well, stay safe.